Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll see how to properly optimize a page in uh, your Shopify store. So this is what the end result uh, should look like. Um, over here I have, uh, I have just a simple page and actually this is really important because on this page I have I have only images, I have no text. Um, so it's even more important to have uh, to have a properly optimized page title over here I have some uh, some keywords in that your description again some keywords and a proper description don't just fill in keywords because uh, anyways this is not affecting too much your SEO or even not affecting at all uh, but this is really good to convert uh, visitors or people searching for your website a better description will uh, will catch the eye and will actually have a better click ratio than uh, a not so good description and of course uh, your URL or handle how, uh, how we call it in Shopify this again has to be uh, a little bit longer with uh, with keywords related to the page and to uh, your business so let's see how we can do this so in this case I have a simple terms and condition page uh, no images a lot of text uh, some few subcategories um, so you do have some keywords there but not not keywords necessarily related to the business um, but still you should you should optimize it and make sure it's it, it properly shows on Google um, your page title of course this is terms and condition um, so there's not much we can add there uh, but at least you should add uh, the business the business name uh, which in this case is a true vintage revival so I could add that to uh, to my terms and condition. You should also have, um, and I'm assuming you have, a list of keywords for uh, for your website. This is what I have. Uh, this is what I have here. So I will at least add the business name to the end of the title. Don't forget for the titles and URL and, and whatever optimization you're doing with keywords related, um, the first keywords is um, what's more important and what will have better ranking or more points if you want, uh, than uh, what's at the end of the phrase. But it's, um, it's a good habit to have the business name at the end of, of the title page uh, more than having it at the beginning because normally at the beginning you will have some other related keywords and you just you don't want to just show for your business keywords because most of the time you will show on it anyway so just keep it at the end uh, then for description um, again this doesn't make much sense as a description yes everybody knows what terms and condition are uh, but still I would like to uh, to optimize it so I will start with uh, again the business name let me just pause this I'm gonna write it and then I will uh, I will show it to you so here's what my description uh, will look like uh, true vintage revival terms and condition you should know before buying our classic vintage eyewear frames governing law disclaimers and limitation purchase etc I stopped here because as you can see uh, description is a limit of 160 characters uh, so there's no need for me to go further than that uh, you may notice I did put some uh, some terms uh, keywords that I'm using for this website uh, like vintage classical uh, design eyewear that we have here I put it here and buying it's also uh, um, it's a good keyword to have so all of those are keywords related to the business not necessarily to this page 
uh, that I decided to put uh, to put here in the description and in this case if it's an FAQ or terms or returns or whatever page uh, that you have subcategories I like to uh, to put a few of them like governing law you can see we have them here governing law disclaimers limitation access general purchase I used purchase because it, it may be also a keyword used for uh, for your search so you have it there URL handle um, this may look good I personally don't like to use end in uh, in there so I'm just gonna change it really important this is a nice feature that Shopify has always leave um, checked over here to also make a URL redirection from your old URL to the new one that we're modifying right now um, so true vintage revival terms condition um, I could I will put uh, the keywords we used also in the description um, let's just see classic vintage eyewear and let's add purchase because it's in there also don't overdo it um, you may know uh, but stick to it too uh, too much of it it's like uh, not enough so don't 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 overdo it don't put too many keywords Google will see it and may penalize you for that um, so a good amount of keywords it's better than having too much so this for me uh, makes sense especially for uh, for a page like terms and condition and don't forget to hit save also what you should do is um, always have an Excel sheet with with all your changes you're doing like I have here yes I have my keywords but I have my pages also um, so you can see terms over here this is the name of my page title description URL um, you could also have what was before and what's now uh, but in this case we I, I I just did it for for what's now because there was no nothing it's a brand new website so for terms let me just put my title here that I'm using description like this you can keep track of it and know exactly what you have on each uh, on each page Here's what an about the company page uh, will look like. Uh, we have some uh, some pictures. We have a little bit of text uh, with some keywords from that. Uh, but what I want in this case is emphasize on uh, the craftsman, which is Yamara San, uh, and that it's handmade. Uh, again, with using uh, some keywords. So the page title. I have um, keywords like handmade, frames, uh, his name, Yamara-san, creating. I didn't put the, the company name here. I don't like to put it on all the pages. Anyways, I don't have enough space. Again, here it's a maximum of 70 characters. In the description, um, I made it catchy for, um, for visitors, for people that may search for it. Uh, without putting too many keywords in that uh, but what's important for for someone who's looking for this kind of product that it's handmade uh, that it's been uh, the guy's been working with them from over 60 years it's made in Japan uh, highest quality eyewear frames and I'm reusing some of those in in the URL so TVR this is the the business name craftsman spotlight his name, handmade, highest quality eyewear frames. So those are perfect keywords. I don't have. I don't want to have a long, long URL neither. Um, trying to keep it simple and uh, and nice. So that's it. I hope you you learned something. If you have any questions, as usual, don't hesitate. Ask me in in the comments below the video. Also, uh, you can subscribe to uh to my channel right here like that you won't miss new videos that i'm releasing each week 
Thank you.